Our platform is trusted by the largest uh, app developers like Rovio, Wargaming, Zeptolab, um, and lots of others like uh, 53 and Plarium, to name a few. So what we do is we provide a tool for A-B testing and analytics so you can track how your users perform and what they do on your App Store pages. And you can test any, any element of your App Store page you can think of. You can start with an icon, screenshot, and finish up with description and video and any, anything you can think of. What is more, uh, we shed light, kind of shed light on the App Store analytics in terms of what people do when they enter your page and before they click the Get button. So you kind of get the whole idea and picture of your visitors' behavior and your content engagement. So let's now get down to uh, more useful stuff like uh, install conversion rate benchmarks. So, what is a good conversion rate for an application? And in our experience, the average install conversion rate is about 26.4%. And that's the average uh, conversion rate. It differs across different ad channels, uh, traffic, and categories. But the majority of applications stay around 26.4%. But we have the maximum numbers, like it goes up to 80%, and the lowest numbers go even below 1%. It's mostly about games. And we have some data for the categories. For the seven categories, you can see it here. And the leader of our board is the music category, where we have uh, the conversion rate that is above the average. Then you can see the travel, health and fitness, and they are around 20%. Then entertainment, social networking, education, and games. Uh, I think that games uh, uh, conversion rate is quite obvious because it's a very, very competitive uh, category. So the next one that we're going to tell you about are the case studies. And we are going to start with Rovio who is our client, and when they were releasing their Angry Birds 2 application, they turned to split metrics uh, to make the release as groundbreaking as possible. This icon is a good example of a very nice icon that um, we always recommend to create for the applications because it has a clear one element and it has a solid background, and you also kind of highlight this element with your background and you can see the element even on a small screen and that's how it works normally right now. And what's the next one? The next one is a conversion lift that we normally observe for different types of elements on your page. For instance, when you A-B test screenshots, on average you can expect 18% of the lift. But the maximum number is 600%, even more. So uh, that's a very, very nice lift. And this, these are the numbers that we observe. As for the screenshots, uh, our recommendation right now is to make them as engaging and po as possible and make sure that people scroll your screenshots. And uh, looking for more information and read more uh, and read through your screenshots and that's how you can achieve better the results. The more people scroll your screenshots, the better they convert. Uh, as for the next element, icons, the average is even higher. It's 26% and the maximum is a little above 500%. Uh, as for the icons, as I've already mentioned, it's important that your icon uh, speaks to your audience and that um, a person, when one looks at just at your icon, can tell what your app does. And this you can do when you choose one element that depicts all your uh, application, either your application main functionality or core value or features. Depends on what you target on. And as for description, um, it's, it does not give you a really uh, nice lift as screenshots and icons with a maximum of uh, around 60% and the, the average 
of 11%. Why it happens? Because uh, nowadays, unfortunately, people do not read anymore. And uh, around 1% of people really read your full description. So when it comes to your description, the main thing that you have to focus on are the first few sentences. If you make it right, that's what you have to focus on. And the next one is video. And the average lift is about 16% with a max of around 100%. What we can say about video? Video is kind of an introduction uh, on the App Store page. Um, it's not by chance that they call it uh, an app preview video. So you kind of give a sneak peek or even a full picture of what your application does. And visitors watch uh, your video and very often they get disappointed even before they try the app. So basically you do not even give them a chance to try your app. And some of the app publishers prefer not to add video. So you gotta think about it really carefully if you, need, if you need to do it. And what we always recommend is always test because any case is unique, but we can give you some, high, uh, some guidelines, but anyway, any case is really, really, really unique. And now I'll get down to some recommendations that we wanna give you. And I'll start with screenshots. Uh, as for screenshots, it's the strongest visual element that you have to optimize because what you have to start with is the first screenshot as obviously everyone who enters your page sees it. And um, um, the rest of the screenshots, by the way, are scrolled by about 15 to 20% of users. So they, so they are also important, but of course pay the most careful attention to the first one. And anyway, uh, what you can do now, uh, you can highlight the main functionality of your application and you should, what we recommend now is that you add some captions, some description for your application functionality. And what you can do here is you can add a description as short as possible and you wanna make it in a really, really big font uh, in nice, uh, nice uh, letters that are really bright and it can be easily read. Sometimes people test like um, longest descriptions versus shorter descriptions and shorter descrip descriptions always perform better. So if you can make it as concise as possible, do it. What we also have here is another case. Um, here uh, what you can do is you kind of give a sneak peek to your second screenshot and you place some really, really some information that arises curiosity in your, um, in your App Store page visitors and they wanna scroll. And then you can show them something really, really interesting. And another thing, as I've already mentioned, like uh, screenshots of different colors, it also uh, drives people attention and incentivizes them to scroll and find out uh, what is there, if something is really interesting and intriguing over there. Um, and the next thing I wanna tell you about is a new type of test that we have started um, recently. And this type of test is a so-called competitor's benchmark test. So we kinda recreate the search page of the App Store and we put different uh, applications. We send people there and then we can see which of the applications get more clicks. So we can see how clickable uh, each application is and obviously, eventually, uh, how appealing the icon is. So this way you can find out how clickable and appealing your competitors are and how clickable and appealing your, uh, your icon and your name is. And what is interesting here uh, is that in one of the tests that information is showed here, that's the click rate, the number of clicks and the percentage of clicks. The fourth position performed uh, slightly worse than the first one. And the fourth one performed much better than the second and the third one. So that said, you do not always have to focus on getting to the first position. You can still stay at the fourth and perform as good as uh, the first one. 
And what is important here, we do not show you the icon, but we suppose, we think that the main thing about this icon that made it so successful is that it has a really uh, nice element, big one, and it's contrasting. And it looks uh, really striking comparing to another ones as uh, the rest of them are really crowded and noisy in terms of design and this one looks much, much better. So thank you so much and what I want to say in the very end is that not all designs are created equal and now you have every tool uh, to test it, to experiment and find out how you can optimize, how you can grow your user base and your <coughs> revenue ultimately. Thank you.